It all started innocently enough, with me enjoying the tranquility of the forest and taking a moment outside for a smoke. But as I stood there, the peaceful ambiance shattered by a rustling sound emanating from the bushes nearby. My curiosity quickly turned to fear as I laid eyes on a creature unlike anything I had ever seen. With its big red eyes piercing through the darkness, slimy black skin glistening under the moonlight, and sharp teeth glinting ominously, I knew I was in grave danger. Panic set in as I turned to flee back into the safety of the cabin, only to realize with horror that I had locked myself out. As the adrenaline surged through my veins, I faced a harrowing dilemma. My phone and car keys were trapped inside, leaving me stranded and vulnerable to whatever lurked in the shadows. As I stood frozen in fear, the creature emerged from the bushes, its menacing form illuminated by the faint glow of the moon. With every nerve in my body screaming for escape, I frantically scanned the area for any means of defense. Spotting a sturdy branch nearby, I lunged for it, my heart pounding desperation. Gripping the makeshift weapon tightly, I braced myself for whatever horrors awaited me as the creature advanced, its unearthly growls sending shivers down my spine. Summoning every ounce of courage, I stood my ground, ready to confront the unknown menace with all the strength I could muster. With trembling hands and racing thoughts, I prepared to face the ultimate test of survival. As the creature drew closer, its eyes blazing with an otherworldly intensity, I knew I had to act fast. With a surge of adrenaline, I swung the branch with all my might, aiming for its grotesque form. But the creature was faster than I anticipated, dodging my desperate blows with unnerving agility. With each miss, my heart sank lower, the realization sinking in that I was truly alone in this battle for survival. As the standoff continued, I racked my brain for any possible escape plan. With my phone and keys locked safely inside the cabin, my options were rapidly dwindling. But then, a flicker of hope ignited within me as I remembered the cabin's back entrance, left slightly ajar earlier in the evening. With renewed determination, I made a split-second decision to make a dash for the back door, praying that it remained unlocked. Ignoring the creature's menacing presence, I sprinted through the darkness, every step bringing me closer to potential safety. With bated breath, I reached the cabin and threw open the door, relief flooding through me as I tumbled inside. But my respite was short-lived as I realized the creature was hot on my heels, its eerie growls echoing through the night. Frantically, I slammed the door shut and bolted it with all my strength, the adrenaline coursing through my veins as I braced for the inevitable onslaught. Alone and trapped in the heart of the Tennessee woods, I knew that the night was far from over, and the true horror was only just beginning.